Let's talk NCLEX. I hope all is well with each of you. We will be discussing another topic that's not often talked about, but most certainly it shows up on the boards. So let's get started. Today's topic is going to be bladder extrophy. I've added a picture for our visual learners. What is bladder extrophy? It's a congenital anomaly where the urinary bladder is outside of the lower abdominal wall. The cause is unknown and the treatment is surgery. The goal of the surgery is to reconstruct the bladder and the genitalia to enable the child to achieve urinary continence. What are some of the signs and symptoms we should be looking for? Exposed bladder mucosa, a wide synthesis pubitus, a defect of the external genitalia. Now let's talk about some of the interventions. Monitor for urinary output, which we know should be 30 mLs per hour. Monitor for wound infection. Look for things like drainage from the surgical incision, pus, the patient running a fever. Also, avoid petroleum jelly. Believe it or not, it will dry the wound out. Then you should provide emotional support to the family, to the parents. The parents often blame themselves, especially the mother, because the child is born with this disorder, so she's thinking that it was something that she did while she was pregnant. This is a great opportunity for us to use therapeutic communication skills. Now let's talk about what type of care we could give before the baby undergoes surgery. We want to make sure that the bladder tissue doesn't become dry but it also is allowing the urine to drain out. We want to cover the bladder with a sterile, non-adherent, clear plastic wrap or a piece of a sterile, thin film. Thank you for making it to the end of this study session. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you will be aware of all the new content that I'm putting out.